Hey, what's up? This is James Sony from Pixel and Grain Dotting. In this drill, we'll see some basic of expression in Maya. All right, so you know, let's start right now. First of all, you know, the expression is really very fantastic stuff. If you are doing some kind of animation, you can save a lot of time and effort. Okay, and even though you can use expression for the weaving as well, and some time of uh, text, you know, while you are just you know texturing and you know expression, you can use anywhere. Okay, so you'll see some basic styles for the expression right now, and then we will just you know in next tutorial, a couple of next tutorials, we'll see some advanced stuff. But here I'll just you know show you a couple of example, you know, so you can start with the expression and. You know that's it so let's start first of all we need either text editor or you know you, you have to open expression editor of Maya to open that we should go to the windows animation editor expression editor right just keep in mind a couple of things while you're working with the expression editor if you have any object Polygon and suppose I'm looking cube. Right, so if any object is selected, okay, and by default it will show you that by it will select filter by object attribute name. So when you select any object, it will show here this object and attributes here this side. Okay. But after you know after creating one expression. If you don't select and if you want to select that expression what you already made so you need to go to here select select filter and by expression name so you when you select this you'll get your expression over here okay so this is pretty simple stuff now another basic thing I'll show you in the expression you don't need to remember each and every flag or you know function all the time okay you can get some idea you will have some idea by selecting object okay when you select object you can see the stuff over here this is objects and attributes name as I told you before so suppose for example if you want to apply some expression on the you know this PQ one translate wise so you have to write expression here but how you there is you know it's not necessary to write each and every text okay manually what you can do you can select this object and select the channel what you want or attribute okay and you will get the selected here this is with the actual syntax so what you can do instead of writing that select this and select this entire text and with the middle click or middle mouse button just click here and hold it and drag it to this text editor so you get the same stuff all right second you know there is no need to write each and every stuff over here okay there are a couple of short keys also short keys instead of short syntax also but there you see later on Okay, so let's start. Let me let me explain you some basic stuff for the expression right now. So where you can use the expression. Okay, so there are a couple of flags which you need to remember. Okay, but you will definitely there is no need to just see it and just you know constantly remembering again and again remind. There is no need. Just you know, with the practice, you will definitely just you know remember all those things that while you're practicing practicing again and again for the same stuff. You definitely can remember all the stuff okay so for example just imagine I want to move this cube in the y-axis okay according to time so it will gradually increase keep increase it keep it will keep go higher and higher and higher according to time okay so what you can do there is nothing I need to do select this P cube okay let me let me rename this cube to the box so it will be easy to type everything and edit digital by dive history I don't need any history and just open the expression editor again and you'll see this box 
and I want to assign expression on this translate Y channel. So I select this translate Y and drag it here. And what I want, I want to move this in the Y axis according to time. So what I need to do, I just equal to and time and semicolon. That's it. You must have to finish your code with this semicolon. Okay, and then create. So you can see that. Now let me minimize this and you can see here this four zero point four two. It is it is now pink, almost like you know purple pink, lavender color. So it means it's all expressions already be assigned to this channel. Okay. Now when I animate this, I'm mean, sorry. If you just move the timeline, time slider, you can see it's going up. There is no key, just only with the expression. Okay. So here. My key frame, I'm sorry, my FPS is 24 FPS, you can see here. So this means that whenever it will reach to the 24 frame, 24th frame, it should be one unit up because this we have assigned flag that is time. Okay, so it means the 24 FPS, that means it will pass 24 frames in one second. So when it will just reach to the 24 frame, it will just, you know, go up one unit. You can see here. All right. So the same thing, if you go to the 48, it must be a two unit up. Okay. Now this is with the timing. Okay. Suppose you want to just animate something constantly. Okay. So it doesn't mean that you can assign just only the translate Y. You can just, you know, do this thing with any of this channel or any of this attribute okay for example if you want to use this for the rotate uh, y so just remove this on key rotate y and create this you can see the result here is that expression one if you if there is some error or something then it will indicate the errors over here suppose i'm just you know randomly just typing you can see the error expression invalid after edit because my expression is wrong okay so here it is i have just changed the translate y to rotate y so what will happen now let me go to zero and class you can see that it's it's automatically shift from translate y to rotate y okay now if you just check it out if you play this it is keep rotating but this is too slow two second i mean it will just rotate two two units two degree in two second you can see here so it is not you know you can so you hardly see that rotation but you can see you can notice that it is rotating okay now here this is the thing if you want to just you know rotate this it's more than this i mean two unit okay what you can do okay so go to the expression editor again and select that expression I, I i told you okay and you will lost your expression because you have select by filter by object okay so now go to the by expression name and here select this expression if you want to rename your expression you can just type here like a box uh, rotation right okay now but you need more rotation while you're in two seconds so what you need to do you have to multiply okay so whatever value you will multiply with this value i mean with time it will multiply total i mean time multiply by that value like suppose uh, i want to 10 times multiplies this time so it means at the 48 frames it will be 20 